what's up guys, it's Harry, and today I'm back with a Guardians of the Galaxy 2 showcase for just, well, just two minifigures, and I know you might be curious and wondering, why is there a Guardians of the Galaxy 2 showcase just right now, even though that movie's like almost four months old? Well, the answer to that being is, Cyrus just simply wanted to make Ego right here, because he had a important role in the movie. And I insisted him to make Kraglin over here because reasons. Anyway, I just wanted to say these figures are fully hand painted besides the base skin tone. So with that being said, let's just get on to the minifigures. Okay, so the first figure here is Ego. And I just want to say really quick, his role in the movie, it was not as I expected. And instead of him being a good guy, as I thought he would, he's instead the main villain of the movie, and he did some pretty messed up things. So, anyways, I'm just trying to get... But anyways, the hair is a new Lego Ninjago hair piece, and Cyrus just painted it in a gray color. The face, it was just a standard clone trooper head, because we thought that it looked similar to Ego. And the beard, this is actually Cyrus's first time sculpting a beard onto a minifigure. And the torso, it was a pretty simple design, as Cyrus told me. And the scarf, or I don't really know what it is, but I'll just call it a scarf for now. It was actually the same as Jessica Jones that I showed in the last video. Some cut up pieces of fabric and just glued on to the torso. And some straps and some design on there. And the legs, I think it was like started off as a brown or gray legs and just painted on a design on there, but overall, Ego, he was a pretty simple figure to make, but he was actually one of the reasons why the showcase is so late. But other than that, let's just get on to the next minifig. So Kraglin was a figure that I had to convince Cyrus to make because originally he didn't want to make him until I showed him some pictures of his suit. So he immediately got to work after that. So the hair is actually sculpted, and originally I wanted to, I suggested him to make a sleepy hair piece for Kraglin because I thought it looked accurate until he figured out that it was too big for Kraglin so he just decided to sculpt it and I gotta say he nailed it on the first try and the face uh, the eyes were just there normally until he just painted on the rest of the design on his head and the shoulder pads are just cut up pieces of cardboard and he just glued them onto the shoulders and his suit is little bits of metallic red and metallic pink to get this color right and I saw him try to mix this color and it didn't look easy and on his arms over here he cut up some accessories and glued them on and the legs were, they were just some basic dark red legs and he just painted on some black boots on there and some metallic red and pink but overall I'd say like Kraglin he looked a little bit hard to make so, anyways, that concludes him, so let's just conclude this video, because I'm pretty tired. It'll be everywhere, all across the universe. Wow, look at this weird plant, guys. I'm gonna shoot it. Wait, hold on, man. Oh, shit! And there we have it guys, the uh, spin-off Guardians of the Galaxy Showcase. Now, I know that I'm barely just returning, you know, just to start talking about it in the end. But um, as you've noticed, Harry has been taking a, you know, he's been replacing me when it comes to the LEGO customization videos. Uh, when doing, you know, the reviews or just the showcases, I guess I should say. Um, but the main reason why I'm having Harry mainly, you know, start doing more of narrating the showcases rather than me is because... Uh, no one likes me. Next thing I want to, uh, that's not even part of the main reason why, but mainly because Harry doesn't necessarily get a lot of credit when it comes to the channel. Therefore, I decided that it'd be best for whenever I finish a wave of figures, he'd be the one to pretty much be the one running the show. Pretty much being the one that narrates everything, pointing out the details that I did on the figures. But I will say, um, all the figures are mine, the ones that I make, and there are some that Harry will make. For instance, some uh, from some of his shows that he watches. But, um, yeah, so this is pretty much my last time speaking with the figures, or just me, t um, narrating the showcase, so, um, hopefully you guys enjoy that transition from me to now be it being Harry, but don't worry, I still will be making other videos, and so will Harry, but Harry from now on will take over the showcases. 
Uh, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me and her working on other figures. Hopefully, you guys will be, uh, like it to see them. Other than that, yeah, thanks so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I pass my mantle on to Harry. And we'll see how he is in the future. So yeah, see you later. Um, I'm done. So, peace.